So you show up to do your photo shoot. You show up to the home, it's not ready. How do we do? Do we walk away? Well, for me, first, I assess the house. I do a walkthrough and make a judgment call. Honestly, if you can pull off the shoot, do the best you can, just shoot, try to get whatever number of images, if it's 20 or 30, if you think you can pull that off, whether it's the exterior looks really good, concentrate more photos outside versus inside, but you have to make a judgment call. So about once a year, I walk away from a shoot. It's rare, like I do about 700 shoots. My realtors know they have to be ready. I have quite a few of my realtors that even have that, that the homeowner is responsible for the charge if it's not ready. So the homeowner knows most of my realtors will go ahead of time, make sure it looks awesome. They'll go about 24 hours before and check. So when I show up and if I feel it's pretty bad, it's got to be bad. For instance, I guess basically put my, I put myself there. I have to photograph it in a professional manner. And then I have to think the next step, people are gonna come look at that place. So it has to look good to them too. I want the realtor to sell it. I want the homeowner to sell it. That is my responsibility, the realtor's responsibility. We wanna sell that place. So the homeowner has to take responsibility too sometimes. So shoots I've walked away from. For example, just to give you an idea, uh, but once a year I said, I walk away. Last year, one of them I walked into, it was awful. They had pets, they had people in there. The jip rock was wrecked, everything was wrecked. It looked terrible, but we're in a seller's market, right? They know right away, they're gonna go cheaper, sell it, walk away. I'm not painting, I'm not fixing this house. Why even clean it, right? So judgment call. I talked to the realtor quick about it privately. And yes, I did shoot that one. That was the way it was being presented. She markets everything. She uses me as her photographer. So we did our best. And yes, it's one of the ugliest I've shot in the last year, but it sold quick. It did what the realtor promised. They got a good price and it's gone. Those people moved on. One of the worst I ever saw in a different sense, walk into this condo, you can tell it's a bachelor. He's a ladies man, you could say in a way. Walk in right away and you can see pot on the table. He just had, he didn't even put it away. Um, his, his actual kitchen, instead of appliances, had liquor everywhere. And then I was like, oh, okay, that already tells a story about this person. I never met them, but I already know what they are like. I was the first to walk. The realtor never walked into the bedroom, walked in it, and he had a wall of fame of all his ladies he's been with. Yes, actual pictures on the wall. Took no shame in putting those away before we showed up to photograph it. I just looked at the realtor and I go, what does this story tell you of this person, of this condo and it just gives you a dirty feeling right the person wanting to buy that as soon as they walk in it's like no i don't want to live here this person's disgusting that's all i remember so i walked away from that shoot the realtor walked away from that client and some other realtor took on that client and i don't know if they ever sold it but you have to remember the next step after you is someone has to see themselves buying that house so if you think it crosses that line like it's it's like, sorry, you need to make an effort and clean this up and be respectful of the place, the home, and the next person that wants to buy it. Realtor wants this client. They have a great relationship and sometimes they don't want to upset things. So I don't mind being a scapegoat every now and then. I will say exactly like this place stinks. Do something about it. You won't smell it in the photos, but in the next few days, do something to get rid of the stink in this house so that people come in and they're not disgusted by the smell, for instance. Visually, do things. I'm not photographing this or that, but clean it up because the next person can be disgusted by it. You can't see details like dirty things in tubs or dust in the chandeliers. So I will be honest with the realtor. The realtor will say, oh, the photographer said this, this, and this would help it sell. It kind of puts them away a bit so the owner doesn't get pissed off at the realtor. So it keeps everything good. I don't mind doing that. I like being honest. I see a lot of homes. I want the realtor to sell the house. I want the homeowner to move on. So being honest sometimes is a good thing. Looks good on you and it's responsible. So again, be respectful and understand the homeowner, the realtor, they want to sell the place, but sometimes you just have to walk away. It's just too disgusting. They have to do something to clean it up and don't be afraid to walk away.
it's a harsh reality to some realtors. It's like, hey, it's that bad? Scott gets to see some bad ones, but just remember that. If you want more tips, watch this video on how to shoot your homes better, and then hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.